Hi there, everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday. Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am just jumping on quick to talk about stress and its relationship with sugar and how, why so many people after the holidays have a tough time kind of coming back on track, getting restarted again, getting focused because of stress and the fact that your body really craves sugar. So a couple of few really important things to understand is that when you are under stress, when you have a lot of things going on in your life, your nervous system gets all fired up and says, feed me more. And your nervous system runs on sugar. Yes. So when you're under stress, your body naturally says, give me sugar, give me sugar, give me sugar. So for all those of you out there who are like, I'm setting a new resolution, I'm getting back on track for New Year's, all these other things, and you're thinking that you're going to be able to just plow through it and like sheer willpower, I can do it. No, it's not about willpower. It's not about just busting through it. It is not about forcing your way there because your nervous system will overpower you. (laughs) Your brain will say, I need something now. Give it to me now. And the more you try and push it off, the harder it gets until finally there's a breaking point, which is where people usually, they call it stress eating or binging or whatnot. And it's because of stress, which leads to the sugar and your body really wanting sugar. So how do you avoid this? Well, great news. You kind of (laughs) can't. It's such great news. But there are some great tactics to have when you are feeling stressed, when you are noticing that you're wanting more sugar or something that is not typically in your healthy diet. So these, these tips are things like eating healthier fats, or if you know that you're under stress, making sure you're getting a little bit extra healthy fat that's going to help level out your blood sugars so that you're not going to increase the amount of sugar that you're taking in that much, okay? So um, I'm not going to, I could draw a graph, but I'm not going to draw a graph for you. So that's, that's one of the things that's going to be really key. Healthy fats for sure. And two is having a plan, having a strategy to kind of get back on board. Because for me to say that, oh, you know, eat healthy all the time and follow this plan perfectly to a T, great. But is that reality? Is that real life? Is anybody ever able to do that? No, I don't do that. I had way too many cookies. Way too many cookies for um, around the holidays. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did I mean to? No. But were they really good? Yes. <laughs> so I ate them. So what do you do? You have to have a plan to balance it out. So I have a recovery system. That's what I call it. Too many cookies. And then I have a recovery system to get back on track, to get everything in sync again. So that even if I'm increasing my stress, even if I'm increasing my sugar intake, it is not taking over and I'm not continuing to spiral out of control. So those are a few really important key tips to have is that you knowing what's going on, knowing that there's this, this system in place that it's like, it's a physiological response in your body. You can't stop it. You can't like, it's like trying to hold in a sneeze. It's just going to happen. So it's really important that you kind of work around it as best as you can. Yes. (laughs) My fellow cookie monster. Yes, Christy. Oh, hi, Christy. I miss you. (laughs) Um, so yeah, so it's, it's just really important to have these great tactics, healthy fats, So that when you're under stress, you're not going to eat as much sugar because your blood sugar is going to be leveled out and then to have the recovery plan. So in our six week jumpstart group, there is a ton of information, so many resources, and these recovery plans are given to you. And there's more than one because what works best for me as a recovery plan may not work best for you. What, what, if I go through my typical recovery plan and it's not working as well as I want it to, or I fall off again. I have a second one and a third one that you can go to. There's more than one because we're all different. So these are, again, really important tips to kind of keep in your back pocket and pull out when you need them. Now, my second uh, tip for today is about burning all the food that you eat. So burning the cookies. So when you do eat the cookies or when you do eat something or have too much wine, again, because of the stress and the sugar, what do you do? And you're like, okay, I need to do cardio. That's everybody that thinks, oh, I got to burn it off. I'm going to get on the treadmill. I'm going to go for this run. I'm going to spend an hour in a treadmill. You know, you know what a spending an hour in a treadmill does? It increases your stress. It increases stress, which then means you're going to want more sugar. It repeats the whole cycle again. So please do not get on a treadmill for an hour. Yes, cardio is important and that's all great and grand and wonderful. But if you really want to make a big impact on cutting down the sugar cravings and cutting the stress on your body, lift heavy things, go to the gym 
and do some weightlifting and have it be more of a max out. So target some, some, some specific muscles, really burn those muscles out. Make sure you're using correct form and posture and you're being safe, all those good things, right? So if you, know, if you don't know what you're doing, maybe, not, maybe don't use the free weights, maybe use the machines, but like target a muscle, target your quads and like burn those suckers out. That's going to help you burn more of those sugars. It's going to help you with your metabolism. It's going to help you target that specific group, which means that longer after working out, you're going to continue to be burning more calories. That helps cut the stress and it helps cut the sugar cravings and kicks things around faster for you. So those are my really, 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 really important tips. Stress makes you want sugar. So don't try and fight it, but have tactics around that. Two, a recovery plan. And then three for burning those cookies. Lift heavy things. <laughs> Christy, I love it. Little weightlifting people. Yes. Yes, weightlifting is like one of my favorite things to do. It builds lean muscle. It really helps release a bunch of endorphins and enkephalins and things in the body, which really, really help you feel good. So um, you can get on a weightlifter's high. Not just It's not those runners that just get the high. You can get on a weightlifter's high. That's totally true. Yes. So anyway, so stress busting for the after the holiday season because we still have another holiday coming up. I mean, you get done with this one big holiday season and you're like, whew, okay. And you're like, oh my gosh, there's more holiday stuff coming still. It's not over yet. No, it's not, which means that there's going to be more stress coming. So be prepared. And if you're looking for a great group to join, to be able to combat stress and holidays and get back on track, this six-week jumpstart group is a fantastic place to start. There are a lot of things out there where it talks about, oh, new healthy, you know, start your new year resolution and be healthy for 2017 and all those other things. Great. And you can follow a plan or follow something, but it's really important that you're getting tips that are going to last you for the entire year and beyond. So that is what this group is for. It's really giving you tactics. It's giving you resources that are completely different than other things out there because it's designed for your body, for hormones. And to have all these other recovery tactics around everything. So if you would like information, please message me or comment below. um, Or there's a link you can click on to kind of get more information about that. Otherwise, I'm going to be talking more about stress this week because it is on everybody's mind. Everybody try, you know, I I can't tell you how many people I've talked to. They're like, oh my gosh, I tried to be healthy. And then I totally went down the toilet. Now what? Because now I'm even more stressed out about it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking more about stress, other tactics about uh, how to combat sugar and turn things around really, really quickly. But it's most important to understand that this is what happens and that's okay, but there's ways to get around it. All right. So everybody have a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow.